Good morning. I'm pacing the hallway because today is the first day that I go on my first ever solo female van life adventure. I'm so nervous. I've never driven that far before. I've never driven on like the big roads because I only recently passed my test if you haven't been here before. So I've only ever driven around towns and places that I know. I've never been anywhere where I have to do multi-lane roundabouts or anything like that. So I am off to Stonehenge, either Stonehenge or Woodhenge, and I'm gonna go meet some friends. And then at the end of the week, I'm gonna move on to the self-build get together meetup in Shaftesbury. It's 8 a.m. on the Tuesday and I'm packing. All for the van. I'm bricking it. I'm so, so nervous. So nervous. John's round and he's helping me sort of finish up the van. It's 99.9% .9 done, but it's good enough. Oh, and my gas doesn't work, I've got a gas leak. So I'm hoping that somebody who I'm meeting with is able to fix it for me, because if not, I'm gonna be very hungry all week. Yeah, let's do this, shall we? All right then, I'm ready. Old school raider in the head. I'm about to use an M road for the first ever time. I've never oh, used great. one before. It's I know. Really. Never used an M road before. Oh, that's lovely. I'm going to die. <laughs> you won't die. The big boy roads. Doing 50 miles per hour behind a lorry because I'm too scared to go any faster. arrived safely. The journey wasn't as bad as my anxiety was telling me it was going to be. There are a few road users that shouldn't be on the road. I'm probably included. When I first got it, yesterday, bearing in mind, we're now the next day because I was just so overloaded. I mean, for me, this is the first time I've ever travelled solo without John being here. It's the first time I've done van life without him. So, being overwhelmed from the journey and then obviously being here and I'd made my coffee and I come and sat here and he weren't there so I found that really tough. I had a good cry for half an hour, I felt so many emotions I didn't expect to feel but I did it and it's my new normal so I need to get used to it so I'm going to persevere. I am at Woodhenge so I will show you around in a little while. Bloody dog keeps getting myself all tangled. So yeah, I will have my coffee and I will show you around. So I don't know if you can hear me over the wind, but this is Woodhenge. It's literally Stonehenge's neighbour. <laughs> Stonehenge's neighbour, it's, I think they're logs. Oh, they must be Woodhenge, you know. Look, they look like stones. They are stones. <laughs> Why would they call it Woodhenge then? If it's stones. Look at this stone. What is she doing? They're like little pillars, you know, the ones that you put up when you want to stop traffic from driving through. So where on earth did the Woodhenge come from? swim in the swim in the air <laughs> so we're just parked here nice little spot and with a view like this so yeah lovely lovely park up really really nice like it here the one downside to van life is when you own a dog and it's pissing it down outside and windy and you're on top of a hill in the middle of nowhere someone's got to walk the dog and usually it isn't me but today from now on it appears it is my mission in life can you hear that the van is literally gone I'm on top of a hill. Oh, sorry, baby. Oh, my God. Dropped a pillow on the dock. Look her, baby. Look at her, look. In her little coat. 
Rico, huh? You're all ready to go out in the wind? I need a coat. As you can see, I'm home four days early, so that come to a bit of an abrupt stop. Um, had some personal issues to deal with, so everyone's fine. It's it's all good. I'm I'm fine. Oh, don't you two start. Now is not the time. Honestly, it's like a bloody zoo. No, I had a lovely time and plan on doing another trip very very soon. Hoping to get away at some point next week. There is one more job I need to do as my first time as a solo is, oh, honestly, you just don't get five minutes to yourself in this house. I need to empty the cassette. I've never emptied the cassette before. I've never wanted to empty the cassette before. I don't think anybody wants to empty cassettes, do they? But I have no one to do it now, so... I'm going to bring you along for the ride. Oh my god. This one just for the occasion. <laughs> Said. I'm not so sure I like van life anymore. <laughs> <laughs> 